Alright guys, this is the last part of the video on straightening uh, our power pole and getting it tensioned up. Um, in this case, I have some three quarter inch nylon rope. That was plenty to, you know, pull 20 feet up. That's quite the lever arm, so not a big deal on snapping it or anything. Come along, situated here. Um, I want the big end kind of out where I can get to it instead of having to bend down by the truck. I've got um, this thing here, which I've got some chain on it in the hopes that if something happened that would knock the the cable down I don't know how realistic that actually is but it's you know safety first so um, I've got the other hook end attached to the safety chain attach or um, hole for you know on your hitch and I've got that end I'll actually pan up there real quick for you guys so I've got this end tied to the top of the pole, and that's right there. Now, the mistake that I made is I went so high that the pole's actually bent in the middle, and I'll show you guys that next. So if I carry this over here, and we look at this pole from here, you can see right in here it's arched it's actually bent back like this and uh, that's obviously due to it sitting in the position this basically came out of the ground and went like that pretty hard angle right there and so now there's all this tension that's built up right here which is causing the whole pole to curve so I wetted the pole down because I didn't want you know dry poles break or dry wood breaks wet wood bends so that's the idea behind that so we're going to come back over here and I'm pretty close to level now. Um, let's see, but you guys aren't level. All right, now you're, now you're basically level. So um, I'm going to go ahead and tension this up a little more. Quite a bit of tension there, so I'm gonna go take a look at the pole. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right. Is it on? Yep. All right, this is the most like super sketch bullshit. We got the extension ladder. I <laughs> ripped my shirt between two ladders. We got some zip ties holding the. Uh, ladder between the ladders and I'm standing on the board and I could get ejected into the bushes who knows It'd be quite entertaining so if you will get me Tyler the uh, uh, cut off wheel oh, I need to see where to cut it so I'm gonna cut it right right here that then? Never mind. Thank you, good sir. Yeah. Turn the shorter. We still good? Yeah. Oh, mother. Pa, 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 pa. Your guy's here, Grandpa. Oh boy. Hold on. Can you get me the pliers? No, oh, right there, the nippers. Oh, yeah, hold on. Thank you, and then check time on camera. I think you're like seven, yeah. Uh, ha ha. Those up there in case 
that happen again. It's always hard getting this thing started. I'm hung up on the down there. Hold on. Awesome. Remember, you got your boy up top there that you got to make sure is straight because he's not anymore. Your boy, oh. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now is crushing a piece of copper tube down and then I'm going to pinch it. Right out here on the end. You're not all the way on that, yeah. I know I had to get some mechanical advantage. Oh. Alrighty. So that all it is is to hold the cable from unwinding. Um, but you don't want this big end sticking out either. So I'm just trying to. I wish I had even bigger pliers than these. <sighs> I think that just bent over. All right, it did. Last step, guys, is to put on your heat shrink. Again, these are little extra steps I created. I think it makes sense. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so the next thing I'll be doing is uh, tensioning this cable. I'll be getting down, getting all this crap out of here so you guys don't need to watch that. So we'll tension the cable and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm breathing sucking wind here. You can barely see the cable right here. I got it under a fair amount of tension. Um, Everything worked like I thought it did. The the uh, EHS cable is is stored in spools, and so when you unwrap it, it kind of has a long curl to it. And um, I don't know if there's a secret technique that the pole guys use, or you know, I, I just don't know. But when you're trying to get the eye to fit even with the through the knuckle instead of being rolled over it or flipped around it on one side and Especially up there, you guys can't see it, but that um, that uh, thimble eye, it wasn't pronounced as much. It was a thimble eye nut, and it just didn't have as deep of a, of a valley for the cable to sit in. So it was really hard to get it to seat straight over the thimble eye. And then the cable being all kind of this long spiral wrap didn't help. I'm trying to fight it back and forth. So what you end up doing is you end up... Uh, getting it where you want it under tension and then you know kind of trying to keep it in tension while you're tightening things up 
So I used a screwdriver. I'm sure there's something that's that works better for the turnbuckles to tighten them, but I just stuck it in between there and twisted it. I can't tell if it's where I want it. I think maybe it needs to come back a little bit, but I'm not sure. I know the important part was that I went past where I thought I was going to need to because it's kind of hard to tension the cable if you don't have... I got a puller in the mail, but I can't get the truck in here because there's a portrait here. So I had to pull from way out there, so it's a real long angle. So I couldn't use the cable grip because then the guy wire cable's out there and not down here where I need it. So I just used some rope and a come along and that worked fine. Um, uh, make sure when you uh, make sure when you do you make a hitch in your rope or whatever you're using that you use the right hitch so you can get it undone because it puts quite a bit of pressure on the rope. Uh, if there's anything else, um, I think pretty much everything else is self-explanatory. It it holds. It was a pain in the ass with this bush here, and I'm done. So I hope this helps somebody out there, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye.